HK fighter yourself. So a lot of pride on the line for Hamza. Yeah, I've trained with Hamza before. Hamza is a very good fighter. He's aggressive. He's going to want to take this fight to the ground. He will have the wrestling style against his Egyptian stand-up fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, the already former fight of the evening. Your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 165 centimeters tall, weighing at 61. 32 years old, from Cairo, Egypt, with a record of three wins, two losses. Put your hands together for Mohammed, Old Man Mashali. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he stands with a He's the pride of the kingdom of Bahrain. He's got a record of three wins, one loss. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Hansa Duhenti. Go to three for this contest, Mihal Mihalovic. Whew, that was intense. <laughs> Did you feel that? And the crowd's going to go crazy. Absolutely. This is a big, big fight here for the Bahraini fans. And round one is underway. Big introduction there by the Lowe's. It's Mashali in the white and it's Hamza in the black. You know, it's going to be a little pressure on Hamza Koheji just because it is a home fight for him. But, again, you hear the fans. It hopefully it motivates him and pushes him forward for the fight. Only 23 years old is Hamza Koheji. He says his goal is to be a world champion. Getting a big win here in his debut on Brave could be a great step towards that. But you talk about a dangerous fighter. An old man Mashali there could put him together. He has great striking. You know, they're both a little timid right now. They're just trying to feel each other out and see what happens. You know, Hamza Koheji is a typical wrestler. Muhammad Mashali wants to stand up and kickbox. So again, it's a good stylistic fight, but if Hamza doesn't close the gap, Mashali could land a good shot. Without a doubt, Hamza Koheji, we saw him at the weigh-ins, very focused. Mashali is certainly not coming here to lose, though. He's been on some big stages. Mashali's just waiting to throw that right. You see him shaking it. And you see his back's at the, uh, by the fence, but overall, he's waiting to counter. He's waiting on Hamza to move forward. He throws a looping right. You can tell I had power in there. Just it's that filling out process, just trying to establish the reach. Look at the, the stance of Mashawi. Very, very odd stance the way he holds up his hands. He leaves himself kind of wide open for a big hook. But he's waiting to counter, and I believe that's why he does that. And that's why he hasn't been attacking. He's waiting for Hamza to come forward. And Hamza's just a little timid right now. You know, he's really trying to feel it out. It could just be the pressure you know, of the fight. Hamza Koheji, is he going to test out his stand-up, or is he going to take this thing to the ground? We know about the wrestling pedigree. Oh, and a big kick. And like I said, if Hamza Koheji stays back there, it leaves room for Mashali to throw his kicks, extend his reach, and impose his will. Everybody's at full attention for this one. And here we go, Koheji going for the takedown. He's leaving his neck exposed a little bit. That could be trouble. Mashali is cranking, twisting the neck. And he's lifting straight up. Oh, that could be trouble. What Hamza needs to do is put his left arm over Mashali's head. He'll take pressure off the guillotine. But right there, he needs to go for a dump. He needs to walk backwards, do baby steps, and spin to go for the dump, as he does right then and there. Nicely called, Shorty Torres. It's not completely under the neck so far. Hamza feels comfortable. He's good. He's working hand control, and he's out. 
But he's stuck in Mishali's guard, and we're going to see what Mishali does off his back. Tough guy to get off of you is Hamza. Great top control. Very, very heavy on his opponents. Picking his shots wisely. Not trying to blow out his steam too soon. And again, Mishali is a stand-up fighter, so we're going to see what he does off his back. But right now, this is Hamza's fight. And I'll tell you, they have really started to fill up the Khalifa Sports City here in Bahrain. We welcome you. If you're just joining us, this is Brave Fights. This is the first ever event for the Brave Combat Federation. Mashali tried for the, the guillotine. Hamza beautifully saw it coming and transitioned, saw his opportunity to go straight into a side mount. Oh, now beating up the body is Goheji. Right now, he's trying to pass in the full guard, or excuse me, full mount. Just having his way with Mashali. And it shows a different style, stylistically. Mashali's a stand-up fighter. And you can tell right now he's not comfortable on his back. He's taking a few shots here and there. Nothing too damaging, but... Oh, and he's trapping the arm. He's going for the top crucifix. He has, he has one arm trapped. He's trying to go for the other, but he needs to bring the arm across his head. Wow. What a performance already by Hamza Koheji. But as you see the legs wrapped around the arm, that arm is officially trapped. And he's landing beautiful elbows. Mashali's trying to arch. About 20 seconds left, Shorty. And he is absolutely tearing up. Doing some beautiful elbows right now. And the Egyptian fighter. Both arms are locked and there's nothing that Mashali can do. No, he has no answer for this. Can he survive? Mihai Milanovic watching very closely. Beautiful top crucifix. Wow. What a dominating performance by Hamza. Once it went to the ground, old man Mashali had nothing for him. Mashali walks up a little disgruntled, but so far he seems okay. Round one easily goes to Hamza Koheji. Again, they were just feeling themselves out, and Hamza definitely wants to take the fight to the ground. That's where he's best. Mashali needs to open up more, and let's see what happens in the second round. Uh, the crowd is losing their mind, Shorty. This is what they paid for. I think they all would have shown up just to watch this one fight for Kamsa Koheji. That's the sort of response we're getting. And here we go. Let's take a look at some of the replays. A beautiful head kick. It landed half and half on, on Hamza, but Hamza was able to take it. And then eventually he waited, wanted to go for the single, had to fight off the guillotine a little bit, but was finally able to get the dump and eventually move the side mount and get a top crucifix. And once he was on top, very heavy on top, great elbows, great crucifix. Hamza Kuheji seems to have his number. And round two is underway. Two tough, tough fighters, Koheji and Mashali. Hamza's lowering his level, looking like he wants to go for another shot. We see two bantamweights here that are really bringing it, and Hamza Koheji not wasting any time. Now he is coming after Mashali. No more feeling out. I think it's only a matter of time. Mashali's just cocking that right arm back and waiting for Hamza to shoot in so he can counter him. That's all Mashali's trying to do is counter fight. And I believe if Mashali wants to win this fight, he needs to be, uh, he needs to be the aggressor. The fans are, have become unhinged. This is the main event of our prelim card. We still have five big fights to come on our main card. Mashali just doesn't look intimidated by Hamza's takedown or his fakes. At the same time, he's just not doing quite enough here. Mashali's going to have to get on his horse, and he's going to have to make a difference. He is a veteran. But only one more fight professionally than Hamza, who's 10 years younger. And there he goes for the big counter, but just cannot connect. And again, he's just waiting for that big right hand. We'll see if he lands it, but you know, so far he's not faking. He's not throwing any jabs to blind Hamza's vision so he can land that right hand. That's all he's doing, and it seems like the only thing in his arsenal. Hamza Koheji now moving in, throws the leg kick. 
You got to believe he wants to be on top of this division. He wants to make a statement. And as we continue our events here with Brave and title starting getting introduced, Hamza Goheshi is going to want to be that champion. Hamza lifts with a double. Big takedown, slams it down. And this crowd is going crazy. That was an impressive takedown, and we're back to the crucifix. And there's a lot of time on the clock here, Shorty. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive two and a half minutes of this. And it doesn't even have to be hard shots. If you're not defending yourself, the ref will stop the fight. And Hamza is not afraid to go to the body as well. And it just doesn't seem like Mashali has anything grappling-wise. He's defending the transitions, but he's still in big trouble. Now he goes to the north-south. And now squeezing and he's going the for neck. a north-south choke. And, and it's it over. Goes Hamza Koheshi goes to work and makes Bahrain proud. What a win. Hamza was trying to transition to the mount. And Mashali wasn't having it. Hamza said, fine, that's fine with me. I'm going to go to North South. Saw no defense, went for the North We have a stoppage. Tap out of the very second round. North-South choke at three minutes. Give it up for the pride of Bahrain. Hamza Kouedji. My friend, you have to feel very, very happy right now. You have a ton of fans here that are so happy to see you win. Tell me, what is going through your mind right now, Hamza? How are you feeling after that victory? It's like I'm fighting in, um, in my home. These are not my fans. All of them are my friends and family. So, fighting in, in Bahrain is everything for me. Like, I've always dreamt about fighting in Bahrain. And the good thing about Bahrain athletes is that you have Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khalid. They always support, sponsor them. They always help them. Whatever sport they are in, they get help from these two, Sheikh Khalid and Sheikh Nasser. Well, let's talk about the fight a little bit. He was a little tentative to move in there and strike with you. And once you got it to the ground, it seemed like there was no chance for him. You worked that crucifix. Was that your game plan coming in, taking it to the ground, and just pounding him out? No, actually, my, this fight, I worked a lot on my striking. I wanted to strike, but everyone told me, like, and I thought about it. Last fight, I came from a loss, so I wanted to play safe, so I did what I'm good at, finish the fight safe, so I'll be ready to fight again. Well, I'll tell you this. Hamza, it, it's only a matter of time until we start seeing gold and we start seeing titles show up in the Brave Combat Federation. Uh, I would imagine that you're making your mark right now and that you want a shot at that title when it shows up. Title, shield, anything they bring. I'm the best 61 fighter, not only in Brave, ever, anywhere. I can go anywhere and fight with any 61 fighter. I fought best, better, bigger opponents. Now I'm very strong for this, uh, for this weight. 
and I think I'm ready for anything that comes up. Well, we hope to see you right back here, brave guys. Make some noise for Hamza Koyeshi. Bahrain. Meskurin Bahrain, alayyatkum. Ma qasartaw. Wa inshallah kill batulab. Bil alab. Bin chufu Bahrainini ziyada.